read Genesis four. chapter 4. God told Abraham, yes, another Abraham. Amen. leave your country. country kwa. Leave your family. Sia family yako. Leave your nephew Lord. Sia ma, From, nephew wako, I'm Lord. taking you to a land. I'm taking you to a land. A land of milk and honey. Malo, yeah, yeah. So it is the voice of God so, voice ya that directs you to your right ya destination. Direct to the many people have lost the track of God in their life. Amen. Because they have missed the voice of God. Many of you in this place, you are not supposed to be in garden house. Many of you in this place, you are not supposed to be living in the country of Zambia. You have got your destination. You've got a place where you're supposed to go. You've got a place where God wants you to go. But because you have not let go, you have been living in oppression. So you your ministry, so ministry is in the voice of God. Voice yes. Many of you, you are well, being called by God. Yeah. You are called to go and start the ministry in Ghana. You are being called to go and start a ministry in Nigeria. But because you have not heard the voice of God, you are living in Zambia, which is not your destination. Yeah. So the message has so come for you today. That you need to hear the voice of God. Yes. You need to hear the voice of God Amen. concerning your business, yes. concerning your family, Amen. concerning your husband, Amen. concerning your marriage. Amen. Do not miss the child of God. Amen. This is your night. A night of turnaround. A night of shift in your life. Amen. A night of shift over your business. Amen. And it is the time for you to hear the voice of God. And God is saying that there's going to be a turn around over your life. Amen. You are going to begin to hear the voice of God like you never before. Amen. You are the voice of God in your life. They will never go wrong. They will never go wrong. They will never go wrong. When you take up a step to hear God, you will never miss the voice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man of God, I appreciate you for the message. The word of God is very powerful. The word of God is very powerful. Your preaching needs to hear the voice of God. You don't preach just because a man of God is preaching. You you don't preach based on what you hear on social media. You hear you preach concerning the voice of God over your life. Amen. You don't deliver just because you see a man of God delivering. Your deliverance is in the voice of God. Your preaching is in the voice of God. Everything is in the voice of God. Have you heard the voice of God? Have you heard the voice of God? Just because your friend has come to do a business of ordering fish like Kaliba, and you also have taken up a chair. You don't know what you are supposed to do in life. Just because your friend is doing a business, or what you are supposed to do in life. Just because your friend is doing a business, of ordering a lot of things, maybe clothes, and you also take up a step without hearing God. Amen. We are taking up a step of God. Come to tell you today that as the word of God has come, it is important to hear the voice of God. Amen. To hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are ready to hear the voice of God tonight? Amen. 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 Remember that God is a spirit. And if God is a spirit, that means his children also the spirit. And prayer is a two-way communication. It is not only you talking. It is you talking to God and God talking to you. So it is not all about you speaking to God. It is also waiting for God to speak into your life. It is all about also hearing you hearing the voice of God over your life. It is about hearing the voice of God over your life. It is not normal. It is pointless for you to pray for an hour without hearing the voice of God within that hour now. It is better for me to pray for 10 minutes Amen. and hear the voice of God concerning what I pray for. Amen. You have to pray for one hour and have not heard God. It is pointless for me to 
to pray for two hours. I'm praying about my future husband. I'm praying about my future wife. I'm praying about my future business. I'm praying about my ministry. And I have not God. I have not had God. I have not had God. It is pointless. I would rather pray for five minutes and hear God concerning my life. Amen. So the prayer that is accompanied by hearing God, it is more powerful than the prayer that is being prayed without hearing God. And tonight God wants you to start hearing the voice of God. Amen. Over your life. Over your life. Amen. Over your life. As you take up a step to hear God, as you take up a step to hear God, the Bible says when Jesus was baptized, the Spirit of God came on him and the voice was said from heaven, said, this is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Oh, you will hear him. There is a voice confirmation that comes on a person that hears the voice of God. Because as you capture the voice of God from the realms of the Spirit, the heavens will be opened over your life. Amen! The heavens will be opened over your life. Amen! As you will be moving in this world, as you will be going from place to place, you are moving, you are walking, whereas the heavens are opened over your life. That means the scripture is going to be fulfilled. No we conform the Genesis to process. Because anything that can come against you, it is going to bounce back. Amen. Because you are under the protection of the government of heaven. The power is on your side. The glory of God is upon you. The power of God is upon you. The kingdom of God is upon you. And when you come in the kingdom of God, there will be no kingdom of darkness that can able to defeat you. You are going to remain undefeatable. You are going to remain untouchable. Because the voice of God has brought the security over your life. Amen. That you are going to be exempted from every trap of the devil. Amen. You shall live to testify to the great names of God. Your moment of turn around has come. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God has caught you. God has caught you. He has called us to hear to the voice of God. Amen. We have heard the voice of the devil. And enough is enough. Amen. The people have deceived us in society. They have shown us a lot of things. Men of God. I can't, I can't really understand why people are preaching about Satan. Too many Christians are talking about Satan. And many people are living in the fear of Satan. They think that the witch is greater than them. Meanwhile, when God created you, He created you to be like Him. That means you are greater than the devil. The Bible tells me that Satan is under your feet. Amen. So you are not supposed to be afraid of anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The voice of God is very much powerful. Amen. Very powerful. Amen. The voice of God is very powerful. Amen. Anything you need in life is hidden in the voice. Amen. The voice. Your ministry. Your calling, your marriage that you are looking for my brother, your marriage that you are looking for my sister, it is in the voice of God. Never be moved with the fear. Never be moved.